I like to give percentage of my earnings to charity and also other strippers. <laughs> I recently tried twerking, it was a disaster, and in the end the doctor couldn't even check my prostate. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work at McDonald's, mostly flipping burgers, but we also sold fucking chips as well. <laughs> I recently got myself a corgi boiler, and that shut the yappy little fucker up for good. <laughs> Now, I often confuse Americans and Canadians by using long words. And personally, I prefer morning sex, as it's when people are recently bereaved, they're at the most vulnerable. <laughs> I had a very stressful journey getting here today. All the way, this lorry driver was right up my ass, but it was nice of him to give me a lift. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, things I'll do for a Yorkie. And, uh, and I think that's why it's not for girls, but... No, uh, <laughs> no but it, look, seriously, it was a long drive, so I stopped for a piss at a little chef, but unfortunately, he ducked at the last second. <laughs> so I barely splashed his hat. <laughs> I used to be a fortune teller, but all I ever predicted was really cold winters. Turned out the crystal ball shop had sold me a snow globe. <laughs> Some cannibals broke into a convent near Coventry. None eaten. <laughs> See? It's just... It's just... I saw a stripper taking drugs earlier, smoking crack. Yes, and her tits were pretty good. <laughs> There you go. I bought some fancy pens at a nudist art shop. Felt tips, no, but I touched a couple of bollocks. <laughs> uh, a Muslim guy bought one of the little houses at the end of our road. Terrorist. No, he works in IT, you big racist. <laughs> So last summer, I poured boiling water over all the ants in my garden, and all the uncles were furious, so... <laughs> in my 20s, I could eat what I like and always get away with it, and then I reached my 30s, and people started labelling the food in the office fridge. <laughs> I had a small part in a porn film once, which is why I wasn't very good at that job. I think if I was to try revenge porn, I'd just post naked pictures of myself online so everybody would know how low my ex's standards really were. <laughs> One time I nearly had a, a threesome with my girlfriend and my best friend, and the only thing that stopped it happening was they didn't invite me. <laughs> right, and that, see. Hello, I'll be brief. That's a clip from my second special, which uh, is, comes out as a free download to everybody on my mailing list on the 21st of December 2021. You'll get a, a, a link to download a free, unedited advert free copy, if you like that sort of thing. Uh, you, uh, there's also a link on there to download my first special, which came out about a year ago for the people on the mailing list. It'll eventually come out on YouTube and stuff, but that'll be a bit edited and have adverts in and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so there you go. If you join after that, yeah, you still get the link. It'd be just be a confirmation email. And I'm touring a new show called Gary in Bunderland. I'm currently about 90 dates in, and that will show that tour will continue all the way through 2022 and into the early part of 2023. And that's all new jokes, basically stuff I wrote during lockdown. Uh, so again, garydelaney.com for the dates. That's touring UK and Ireland. So if you like that sort of thing, see you then. Ta-ra.